Hey everybody, welcome to Bitchin' and Prayin'. This is a quick Dollar Tree and Dollar General haul. Um, I stopped in there real quick today just to grab a few things. Uh, we'll start out with Dollar General. Um, I stopped in there with my digital coupon um, part open there to see what they had for laundry detergent. Um, I always go in there with it open on my phone and go to the categories and go down the aisles to see what they have. Usually I'll they'll have little things on the um, aisles. They'll show a dollar general digital coupon item and generally I will use it, the coupon, along with a sale item. Um, today it was the extra 150 ounce laundry detergent was on sale for $3.95 Oh, I'm sorry, four fifty with a dollar off with a digital coupon. So I got it for three fifty. Then they had the thirty-two packet Arm and Hammer laundry pods. Um, those were three ninety-five on sale with a two dollar off digital coupon, so it made it a dollar ninety-five. And then you know I've been grabbing up napkins everywhere and in Michigan they just announced a whole new set of orders um, yesterday and they also announced that they're doing a three week uh, thing that if they're going to try to get things under control and if they can't there's probably going to be another lockdown. So they got three weeks to get things under control or probably another lockdown will be imminent and people went nuts. So I saw that they had 150 for a dollar. I think I um, put it on there the other day that uh, I think it was Dollar Tree had them for that. Anyhow, that Walmart was wiped out. A lot of places are wiped out now. So I grabbed one to throw on the stockpile. So there's that. Um, I'm going to tell you some more about Oh, and at Dollar General, they had a just a few um, packs of toilet paper left. I mean, literally just a few. And the couple that they had left were scented, like lavender scented. And then there was, like I said, just a few other ones there. They weren't good deals. Um, literally, probably all together, they had 10 packs total. Um, then I went to Dollar Tree and grabbed up some stuff. We'll start here. Um, I just grabbed up an extra packet of oatmeal. Um, box of oatmeal. It comes out just a little bit more expensive than my Aldi one. But after I saw Dollar General, and I'll tell you about Sam's Club in a minute, I decided to grab me up an extra box. It's not too much more than Aldi. Um, and I do do the packets because they're already flavored. Anyhow, I've, if you see my comments or see me go through um, why I don't do the big tubs of oats, and sometimes I do. Um, anyhow, I got grabbed a box of them. Uh, the two pound thing of the straight cut fries. They're not the best fries, but for a buck I grabbed them up and um, throw them or have them for dinner tonight with burgers. Um, grabbed some AAA batteries. They're not the best, but they do, they're not the worst, for to be truthful. And I needed them for some um, Christmas items. So I grabbed them up. Uh, AAA's been out at all the stores around here for some reason. A lot of the batteries have, but AAA especially. And I saw them in the box and I asked the lady if she could open them. She said, no problem. So I grabbed up some. They had these little camo, 25 of them in there, all one size. I like the, the all one size, to be truthful. And those are going to be a little stocking stuffer. And the big jar of the mushrooms, pieces and stems. Um, I always grab them up there. I think that's a great, a great price for a dollar. Um, the toast, the toastums, you know, like the pop tarts. And there are six for a buck good deal. Um, got the s'mores kind of this time. When I saw they had s'mores. I grabbed them up to throw in the prepper pantry as well as the batteries and the oatmeal and the um, mushrooms. Some of the batteries are for Christmas, but the rest are going in the prepper pantry. Um, got some more candy. Uh, they have not been having the Reese's Cups ones there for a long time. The regular ones. They've only had the white chocolate ones. They were also packed away in a box all the way to the back. Um, I opened that box up, um, and I told the guy on the way out that day, he's like, no problem. And 
So I grabbed some of those. The son's been asking for them. He hasn't been able to have candy since his tonsillectomy and said that sounded good. So I grabbed some of those um, since for some reason they've been gone everywhere. And they're going down and the one's going to him and the rest going in the candy part of the prepper pantry. I grabbed two little bottles of hand sanitizer because it's going, going, gone everywhere around here since they announced that stuff. Um, these are two of the 8-ounce bottles, I think it is. Um, some of the ones that have not been recalled. And they're going to be um, in the prepper pantry. If not, they're going to, if they last and more comes out, then they're going to go in the, uh, my little Christmas things I do for the kids. Um, I got a thing of ibuprofen and a thing of a Tylenol knockoff, 40 tablets each. Um, a lot of times at Dollar General, when they have the deals, I'll get the great big bottles of each. Um, a lot of times, and I noticed those were cleaned out today at Dollar General, so I'm glad I grabbed these at the uh, Dollar Tree to replenish in the medicine cabinet because the kid's been using those after his surgery. They had him alternating between the two with his other medicine. So I grabbed those to replenish um, an extra one in the prepper pantry um, medical box. And he likes that for his room, so I grabbed one of those. Uh, two of the Ajax, 100% more in each one. Those were um, gonna be for the Christmas goodie bags I do instead of, um, I do instead of, I do in Instead of stocking sometimes, well, I'll still put a little bit of the stockings on top of them, um, as well as those two disinfectant sprays, same thing. Those were the last two they had there. Um, so those three things kind of will all go together, unless I have to end up using them. Um, then I did grab a three thing of popcorn to throw in the prepper pantry. I usually get it at Aldi's. Um, last time they were cleaned out and I wasn't going there today, I was just going to take any chances. I was just kind of tapping off. Um, the kid told me that the donut sounded good. And that's why I originally stopped into Dollar Tree because I was right by there. I was right by a Dollar Tree. So I stopped in there and grabbed in three boxes of those since they had, um, individual packages. Um, I also grabbed these for me. Um, they come in little two packs and the inside a bunch of little two Pack, two cookies to a pack, a bunch of them inside this box, and they're really good. Those shortbread cookies. So I grabbed a box of those for me, portion control, and I didn't eat them all on the way home. Here's a 10 pack of these Bear Grams. We're going to see if they're any good. For a buck, we'll give it a shot and we'll put them down in the snack drawer. Um, for the grandkids, they do were made in a plant that processes peanuts, so the one won't be able to have them, but we got a couple more that can have them and the rest of us um and that is it for dollar tree and dollar general it's my haul um but what i was gonna say is i stopped into sam's club since we were in the town that had it there one of the towns that had one and they didn't have a sheet of toilet paper in the store or paper towels people this is why I say prepare ahead of time, slowly but surely. People flipped out. Their workers said people were screaming and yelling at them. And this is why you prepare ahead of time. I wasn't in there looking for toilet paper or paper towels. I just walked back there to, I was curious. And, yep, all gone. I did see an older couple, and there was three of the multi-packs of Kleenex left. And they grabbed one of them. I saw them talking to each other. And they grabbed one. And they were walking. And then there was like a half pallet of the industrial toilet paper left. And they were looking at that. And talking to each other. And looking back at it. And it was way, way, way better deal than the Kleenex even. And I was by them. as They were like, I don't know. Maybe we should use that. That would last a lot longer. And I was like, you know, that will last a lot longer. I know it looked weird because it's like the big rolls. I said, but that... Kleenex isn't good for your septic system at all. Not at all. Kleenex isn't made to dissolve. I said, my friend's husband's a plumber. He said the last go round with this is going to keep him in business for years between the pipes and septic system. And they're like, really? We just had to get a new septic system after the last one. Wonder if it had anything to do with that. We ended up using a ton of Kleenex. I said, no, maybe not. I said, but it's not good for it. And they said, we're going to get this we live alone. We don't care what the roll of toilet paper looks like. And they go, and this will last us a lot longer than this Kleenex. 
and we don't got a lot of money to spend. So they bought the industrial rolls of toilet paper and you know what, it's better for their budget and it's better for their septic system. And they were like, thank you so much for telling us that. And I was like, okay, no problem. And um, so yeah, remember Kleenex isn't meant to break down. It's not meant to go down your toilet. And think of all the wipes people were flushing down their toilet. Not good, not good, not good. Even if it says flushable, that's not good. My friend's husband, that's the plumber, he's like, that's not so, it's not good, it's not good, it's not good. Um, it's good for his business, but it's not good. Um, so anyhow, yep, they were all gone. Dollar General is almost all gone. Dollar Tree did have some. Um, but anyhow, I just grabbed a couple cases of water at Sam's Club because the kid's still going through it with his tonsils there, and I want to make sure we were stocked up on that. And I did grab a four-pack. Hang on. I grabbed this four pack of um, Pillsbury cinnamon rolls, the Cinnabon ones. Eight rolls to or eight, well yeah, eight rolls to a roll, eight rolls to a two, um, for four seventy eight. So it's just less than a dollar twenty a tube. And all these cinnamon rolls, for the same amount of rolls, are a dollar nineteen a tube. So it's basically the same price. And these rolls are bigger. If you ask me, they're they're bigger and they're better and that's a great price. It's the instant saving things at Sam's Club so make sure you grab some of these if you like those Cinnabon rolls. Um, so that's what I grabbed there just a couple cases of water and this. But I just had to check out the uh, toilet paper thing. So yeah I wish people would have prepared. They had to see this coming. I, I guess they don't watch my channel. <laughs> I guess they don't watch me spreading that fear mongering. Um, but yeah, but if it hasn't come to your state yet, if you're not in Michigan, start stocking up now, guys. Go out there and grab that stuff. Grab up a little bit at a time, you know. Just grab up some a few rolls of toilet paper here, some paper towels there. It's enough to get you through for a little bit. Um, and some other stuff that might that, that cleared the shelves last time. Just think of what was gone last time that you actually needed and get it now. And get some stuff ahead for Christmas. Um, when my clients bought me a turkey today, I don't have to buy a turkey. I was like, oh, and I don't have very many clients left between my health and, um, people being scared of getting sick. Um, I work in people's homes, so, um, yeah, that was really, really nice of him. And so I don't have to buy a turkey and it's all set. So anyhow, I'm just going on and on and on. But um, this is my haul for today. And I will see you next time. This is Bitchin' and Prayin'. Um, please subscribe. Please give this a like and a share. And please stay healthy. And I'm sorry I'm shaking around there. Hold this in one hand. Um, and bless somebody when you can. And you always can do something. And then bless you guys. And we'll see you next time. Oh, and say a prayer for my daughter, if you would. She's having back surgery. Just got the boy through his surgery, and now my girl's having surgery, and she has health issues. And she definitely can use your prayers. But every time she has any sort of surgery, I freak out because of her health issues. Certainly appreciate it. Thank you, everybody.